When was the last time you used a 180 round per minute hand cannon? Probably been a minute. And to be honest with you, I completely understand. It's hard for me to stand up here and try to convince you to use a weapon with a time to kill at best of only one second. But the reason why we're reviewing this hand cannon is because, well, it was a favorite of mine. From back in a time before special weapons even existed, when one second time to kill values was quite the norm. Nature of the Beast was a hand cannon that was one of the best feeling hand cannons in the game. Now, it is a precision frame hand cannon that's right it's got a recoil pattern that's pretty vertical it's also shooting at 180 rounds per minute and it can lock a kill in at three crits one body at one second and if you think that's bad it's body shot time to kill is 1.67 seconds yeah not too sexy again like i'm saying it's a hard sell some of the gameplay you're seeing right here is quite deceptive how is this weapon with a one second time to kill value looking oh so crispy and that is something i want to bring up about 180 round per minute hand cannon or more specifically nature of the beast it is quite crispy and by crispy i mean you're able to land crits with little to no effort okay maybe it's the aim assist being 81 on this weapon which is actually pretty ginormous maybe it's due to the fact that the role that you're seeing here in front of you is quite godly we've got things like accurate rounds quick draw which by the way is very very nice on a 180 round per minute hand cannon as well as range finder these perks combined i want to say really assist this hand cannon but deep down there was something i had to accept about nature of the beast and that's that thing is this this hand cannon would 100 be meta without a doubt if the sandbox allowed it again the only thing that's punishing this hand cannon is that 180 round per minute hand cannons just aren't good but they are overdue for a buff i mean really really guys luna's how and not forgotten are not present as a 180 round per minute hand cannon anymore they are 150s and that was like the thing that was holding back other 180s right why use any other 180 round per minute hand cannon when luna's how and not forgotten could do the exact same thing as those hand cannons and kill in one less bullet they had a crispy 0.67 time to kill value which is quite nasty i really think that 180s are gonna see a buff considering this hold on before we get into god rules before we get into anything listen to me right now considering that console users are living in the most heavy-handed auto rifle meta that has ever been present even more so than uriel's gift back inside of year one 600 round per minute auto rifles hitting as hard as they're hitting with a time to kill value of 0.7 seconds is unheard of the fact is bungie's gonna be looking to buff other archetypes and some of you may be saying well why won't they just buff 140s or 110s and they have mentioned they're gonna be buffing 110s but bungie likes to do these overlapping these sweeping sandbox changes they like to buff things that benefits both platforms both pc users and mouse and keyboard and controller users and console and if you ask any console user out there and as someone who came from console i could tell you right now the most manageable easiest archetype of hand cannon to use is hands down our precision frame 180 round per minute hand cannons so the review i'm about to give you right now and i know this is a very long wind up is me trying to sell you not just on nature of the beast in its current form in this current sandbox but on what's to come and i'm telling you fellas it's on its way so first up guys nature of the beast is dropping randomly i do not believe there is an actual way to farm for this weapon it's just contained inside of legendary ingram starting this season it does have a number of really good roles for both pve and pvp especially for specific builds although one downside to it is the lack of damage perks most notably things like kill clip rampage multi kill clip swash etc that is a big downside where it makes up for it though is the feel of the weapon how good it feels its base default stats which are pretty solid it also has one of the highest aim assist values amongst all 180 round per minute hand cannons but something i really liked about the weapon is the fact that it can roll quick draw now quick draw is extremely nice especially on a 180 because to me 180s just don't feel fluid which is kind of bizarre to me considering that they're your rapid fire archetype of hand cannon they kind of run into the same situation it's like rapid fire pulses right when you think of like horace lee's outlast one of the biggest critiques i have on those weapon archetypes is the fact that the handling speed of those weapons feels super slow now they're not like overkill slow for instance obviously aggressive 110 round per minute hand cannons handle much worse than 180s but it always is strange to me that adaptives being 140 round per minute hand cannons handle even more fluidly than 180s and then when we get to lightweights intrinsically those hand cannons just handle beautifully and then all of a sudden you get to 180s which just feel kind of clunky so not the clunkiest but definitely clunky which is where something like quick draw came into play at least on the roll that you're seeing here in front of you now when we look at the random rolls here in front of you in terms of improving the snappiness and feel of the weapon the two options are of course quick draw and snapshot some will argue and say that snapshot is actually better than 
quick draw, considering that Snapchat also serves as a pseudo quick draw in some ways. But you could say the same thing for quick draw, right? Serves as like a pseudo snapshot. Where the two perks kind of diverge for myself is I have to decide between targeting perks and dexterity perks. Dexterity obviously helping the handling of the weapon, akin to something like quick draw. Targeting perks, which not only helps the target acquisition of the weapon, but also helps the weapon to aim down sights even faster. Nine times out of 10, if I'm using a hand cannon, most often I am using an enhanced hand cannon targeting perk, thus negating the necessity here of using something like snapshot. Now granted, snapshot is still obviously snappier, but nine times out of 10, what is present on my leg piece, my leg armor is a scavenger perk, as well as something like attraction mod, which unfortunately doesn't leave room for enhanced dexterity perks for some of our weapons, which is why in this scenario, I did prefer quick draw over something like snapshot. Now next to it is range finder. Oh man, obviously a great perk for any weapon, especially in something like PVP, where damage fall off is a major issue. But Rangefinder, if you've ever paid attention to Drewski stuff, he talks about cones a bunch. And I try to avoid cones, things like accuracy cones, what affects it, at what point the accuracy cones are non-existent. Illuminati is for real. Listen, I'm not gonna get into all the cones. Let me just go ahead and lay this out for you. From what I understand, Rangefinder stretches the range out of the weapon, obviously, by increasing the zoom. But there is a downside to it. And that is the actual cone becomes somewhat stretch, therefore making it more narrow. Thus meaning you have to be a little more on target while utilizing rangefinder, which is why in things like my Dire Promise, I have an opening shot rangefinder combo. And for a long, long time now, that's been my role. But I found that the weapon was failing me in consecutive shots, thus resulting in me losing my once, which is why I've now converted to a different role, a non-rangefinder role on my Dire Promise. And I can tell there's a little more forgiveness using the non-rangefinder finder role on my dire versus the range finder role. What was so interesting about nature of the beast is that I felt like whatever type of stretching and narrowing of the accuracy cone that occurs seems to be negated in some way, maybe due to the fact that it is a precision frame hand cannon. Maybe it's just nature of the beast being a beast. I don't know. All I'm saying is the target acquisition seems to be just as sticky as ever, making range finder here more of a pro rather than a con. And we actually sit down and start testing damage fall off for this weapon. This particular role, which is not even max range. Again, I don't have a barrel perk here, nor do I have a ranged masterwork. Doesn't start to run into damage fall off until 29 meters, which is quite insane, considering that the range stat here is only 49 meters. And if you remember, all the way back inside of Shadow Keep, hand cannons got a nerf in its range, but again, that was targeted at lightweight and adaptive hand cannons. The hand cannons that avoided this reduction in range, or at least the effect that the range stat has on damage range fall off, was actually precision frame hand cannons and aggressive of frame hand cannons. Needless to say, range 100% matters. And had one of our signs actually been something like hit mark, crossfire, or sure shot, that would have extended the range even more. Combine that with something like a range masterwork, you could potentially be looking at a hand cannon, say with this exact same roll here of reaching 31, maybe even 32 meters, which is significantly more even our most god roll 140 and 150 round per minute hand cannon. Even if you take something like Ace of Spades, which has a fantastic range perk of 86, Ace runs into damage fall off at 28 meters. Yet nature of the beast here, with almost half the range of that weapon, exceeds it. You see, that's kind of why I'm building these hand cannons up. It takes one, one sandbox change for Bungie to make and the damage department to all of a sudden, 180s are now the king. Now you probably see the other perk here, hip fire grip, which is also present on this weapon, which also got a buff this past season. We talked about hip fire yesterday on a shotgun, quite nice. For those running and gunning situations, especially if you're backpedaling, I would say it's a very nice perk to have. Although do keep in mind, it kind of works against what we're trying to do here with Rangefinder, which is what we really want on this hand cannon, especially for my PvP players. Rangefinder is a must. Outside of that, guys, my experience with this hand cannon was great. I think Nature of the Beast is one of the best feeling 180s in the game. And despite many of us playing with other godly 180s, things like Optative, which can roll with things like Kill Clip and Rapid Hit, Service Revolver, which can roll with things like Kill Clip and Rangefinder together, even though those rolls are so, so lethal. And it almost pains me to say this, but I would actually take Nature of the Beast over those other 180s, despite Nature of the Beast not having a heavy damage dealing perk. It just feels too good, too damn crispy. And even though it does have a one second time to kill value, by God, you're going to get it every single time. Now, as far as my PvE players go, is Nature of the Beast a good option for you? It's got arc based elemental damage. It also has things like Vorpal as well as Demolitionist and a 10 round magazine. The number of different mag perks here, tactical mag, pendant, 
although extended is not something I would recommend. There's a number of different options here alongside things like subsistence, which does allow the weapon to auto reload. I personally like the idea of subsistence and dragonfly together, but considering that this weapon is a lower impact weapon, it's going to be doing less damage inside of PVE. And a lot of the issues that I found with Nature of the Beast, probably my biggest complaint is that reload speed is awful. And this is something that's like apparent with all 180 round per minute hand cannons. They all have terrible reload speed. The ones that don't have terrible reload speed are weapons like Truss and the Seraph 7 Officer Revolver. Those two hand cannons, along with the reload speed being like close to 50 and above, still are far from perfect, but at least manageable. Nature of the Beast, alongside things like Cold Sweat, West of Sunfall, Service Revolver, sits around 30 something reload speed. And man, is it awful. If you're not rocking an enhanced hand cannon loader perk, you're going to be waiting for years watching this thing reload. And considering it has subsistence, yes, it can auto reload upon getting kills, but at the same time, it is a 180, which means it's going to take more shots to even lock down the kill. So it might be good against trash ads, but keep in mind, if I was to go with a 180, it wouldn't be these. Again, Sarah 7 Revolver is pretty much the option I would go for due to Warmind Cells amongst its good base stats. We also have the Ikelos hand cannon we need to go over again. There's just other better options. It's obvious considering that Nature of the Beast has that Crucible look that it's actually meant for Crucible. And even though it can roll with things like Vorpal and Demolitionist, which has their benefits, especially some like Demolitionist and a grenade build, I would 100% recommend other weapons for PvE with those traits and perks before I recommend Nature of the Beast. So guys, that is Nature of the Beast. This hand cannon feels great. Hands down, one of the best feeling 180s in the game. Whether you're a console user or a PC user, I think this hand cannon will serve you just fine. Considering that this hand cannon though has more range than other hand cannons. Range is actually your friend here, especially with things like range finder. Put yourself at 28 meters or more. And if you could play peak oriented and dip in and out of cover, this is a hand cannon that's going to do well for you. Bungie is notorious about launching their biggest sandbox changes alongside their September DLC. Something they normally do to go in tandem with the big expansion. They want a big shift. And it's in these moments that we suddenly find ourselves in a scout rifle meta or a pulse rifle meta or an auto rifle or hand cannon meta. I think with the continuous drive to bring primary weapons close to that 0.7 to 0.8 threshold, 180s could potentially be three tapping this fall. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.